Welcome back to another episode of I Wish Life Skilling Made as Much as Grinding Mobs. My name is Teddy, and today we're going to be making silver using alchemy. Now that life skilling is some well needed updates, it's now easier to make money. I will do a guide on life skill artifacts and light stones, but for now, let's get ready to play around with some alchemy. I will be making elixir of endurances for the artisan medicine boxes today. To make 158 artisan medicine boxes using endurance, We'll need a total of 1,517 pure powder reagents, 607 purified water, 3,034 dwarf mushrooms, 7,585 birch sap, 6,068 bear, troll, yak, or lion blood. Here in Olivia, I have all my alchemy materials here since it's easier for me and there is gathering and alchemy dailies here that can be done while collecting the mats if you wanted. Before gathering anything, I'm gonna put on my Trimanos Gatherer's clothes to increase the drop rate, which is gonna be a nice income boost with the added drop rates while my Tet Manos Ho and Food Collector is equipped. Wearing a Curious Gatherer's outfit will increase the experience gained for gathering and it looks better. Increase the item drop rate so I can get as much money as I can before selling crates and level my gathering. I will use all the buffs that you can. Now that I'm ready, it's time to head out. Heading down to Florin is one of the best places to collect herbs and dwarf mushrooms since they are clumped up together. Running around here can net you massive amounts of herbs, especially if using the headshot. Hello. While gathering, I am going to save all my fruit sharps, hearts, and fragments for when I need them. But you can sell them if you wanted to net a couple millions. Because there is an event, it is worth gathering everything. Their event drops do make millions. For the 1,517 pure powder reagents, I will need 607 silver azalea, 607 grass, and 607 sugar, which can be bought at any material vendor in any city. After collecting all the silver azalea and grass, heading over here are dwarf mushrooms. I had my workers collect more than enough, but if you wanted to, you can collect the 3034 manually. Personally, I chose the shorter option here. For the birch sap, I went to the area around Quint Hill. Having workers collecting the birch at the Bree Tree Runes node will speed up getting the sap needed. You might be able to find any of the new life skilling artifacts and life stones. I'm currently still hoping to get what I need. If you're having more luck than me, comment down below and tell me about it. My luck is always so bad. If you're in an active guild, unlike me, this is a great way of collecting the old tree's tears. And finally, not heading far, I was able to collect the blood here with the ogres and the troll cows. This had to be done manually, though you can buy this in the central market, but because we're all about money here, I manually done it. The only motivation I had was leveling up my gathering to Guru and hopefully collecting one of those light stones. The last thing needed is purified water and because I'm not going to bore you with that, I've already made some in advance. With all of my materials collected, I just head back to Olivia. I will be keeping everything in the storage since it is way too heavy to hold all at once. Since I will be doing this in batches, I'm going to speed this up. No one wants to watch this boring process. For this, I'm going to choose to wear my Manos clothes, hoping to get more of those mysterious catalysts and the Pavilia clothes to reduce the time needed to make the potions. After all the potions are made, I throw the blue grade in the central marketplace, throw some money away from the crates, and now I start packaging the crates. There is an Imperial NPC here in Olivia making it easier to turn them in. Oh, and if you didn't know, buffing your alchemy mastery will increase the amount you make. As a bonus, I was able to get one of the new quests for the new Sethra's artifact for turning in artisan medicine boxes. 
with all the boxes sold, I made at least 65.5 mil, and selling the blue grade on the central market will get me 50 mil, which I should have shown you guys in the last episode, but hey, I'm not the smartest. You can make the same amount or more. If you guys want to see the other ways I've made money in Black Desert Online, click this video here. Now, I have to go back to grinding for those lifestones I need. I hope to see you guys in the next episode.